Hi everyone, it's October, so I'm gonna show you how to make a needle felt pumpkin spice Kirby. So what you want to do is you want to take some orange felt and roll it up so you can needle felt it into a ball. Don't forget to save two smaller pieces for the arms. I'm gonna roll up the big piece now. You want to hold it securely with your fingers, but be very careful not to poke your fingers with the needle. <laughs> Actually, I end up poking my fingers every time I do this, but I try to go slow so it doesn't hurt me that much. What you can do is curl your fingers back a bit so that if the needle hits your fingers, it's more likely to hit the fingernails, where it won't actually hurt you. It's actually kind of funny that I'm making this, because, well, here's a little secret. I've never had pumpkin spice latte. I should try it sometime. Gently stab the needle into the wool. Also, don't forget to turn the ball of wool around and around so that it won't get stuck on the styrofoam board and that all sides are even. And now it's time for the feet. You can divide the green wool into smaller pieces so that Kirby's feet look proportional to the body. You can put one piece in each hand and just sort of feel out whether or not they are the same size. Once that's done, you can begin gently felting the piece of wool with the needle. Again, you can curl your fingers and use the fingernails as protection. Don't felt the foot too tightly yet, because you still need some wool to attach it to the body. Do the same thing with the other foot, and then attach that to the body as well. Looks like the feet are all done, so now it's time to attach Kirby's arms. I realized the pieces that I saved were too big, so I divided them again into even smaller pieces. Because of how small the pieces were, I didn't felt them individually, and I started attaching them to Kirby's body right away. Again, make sure you keep rotating your work so that all sides are even. Okay, both arms are done, and now it's time for the whipping cream hat. To get a bit of the swirling effect, you can take a piece of white longer wool and start going around Kirby's head. And then gently felt it in with the needle too. I made sure to felt right in between the white part and the orange part, so you can see a bit of a ridge between the hat and the head. So it turns out I need a little bit more white wool, so I cut another piece to make the top of the hat. Be sure to use slightly less wool at the top, so you can keep the shape of the whipping cream. Let's add a little pumpkin flavored syrup swirl. I use the same orange wool left over from the arms. It's a very thin strip of wool and I rotated it around the whipping cream hat. Again, I made sure it was more narrow at the top. Now let's make Kirby's eyes! The pumpkin Kirby from Kirby's Stream Buffet has yellow eyes, so I also decided to use the same color. It was a bit challenging because of how small this piece was, so just take your time and maintain the shape of the eye. And now we got both eyes. And both cheeks. It's the same idea as the eyes, except you can use pink wool. The mouth is the smallest piece on Kirby's face. 
I actually had to dip my fingers in water to roll up such a small piece of wool so that it doesn't keep falling apart. And now you can see Kirby's cute little smile. For the mouth, I had used brown wool. So now I'm going to use the same brown wool to create the tiny little cinnamon flakes in Kirby's whipping cream hat. Just cut up tiny little pieces of wool and slowly felt them onto the hat. It's not really too difficult, but it is pretty time consuming. Make sure you don't use too much wool so that it looks more like powder. You can also cut away the extra strands of wool sticking out. And here we are! Pumpkin Spice Kirby is all done! I also made a black cat to keep him company. And they're very excited for Halloween! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching! Let me know if you have any questions, or if you have some tips that you can offer me. Okay, see you next time!